Ego is here, my Vegas fans. But with that new way to get loyalty points, with mild effort, mind you, that begs the question, what reward are you really trying to earn? Let's discuss that in a bit more detail. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. With all the changes to My Vegas, and Real Vegas for that matter, comps are starting to slow down as traffic picks back up. But, there's still a bit of life that we can squeeze out of the old My Vegas apps and some pretty solid savings to find. But without buffets, shows, and clubs open, what rewards should you really pick? Well, luckily for you, I've already picked the top 11 best My Vegas rewards to redeem this spring. Why the top 11? Because as you know, I like to go even further beyond! So put 100 spins on the clock and prepare to cash in those big gold coins. Here are the best My Vegas rewards to redeem in 2021. But first. Yes, spinners and sharks, before we actually get to the real video, I have a ridiculous internet challenge for you. You can all partake in this. This is called the Bean Boozled Extreme Challenge. So this was something that was introduced to the Vegas community by our good buddies, uh, Brendan and Jason at Lucky Dog Slots. I've got a link to them in the description box down below. And our other good friends, and also a co-host of mine on the Hashtag Vegas Podcast, uh, Roger and Josh, also in the description box below. Something possessed them to nominate me to do this. So I've got this uh, Bean Boozled uh, <laughs> box over here, and I'll tell you what, this is not for scaredy cats or whiners, all right? Like, extreme bean boozled is really just for the brave and those of you who are very confident in your taste buds or have a lack thereof. That seems to be the problem with it. Like, no good flavors in this one. This is just all the bad flavors. So if you guys ever try Birdie Bots, every flavor beans when you were little kids with the Harry Potter and all that, this is, this is the earwax and the vomit and the things like that. So those are the flavors we're dealing with here. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try all, all these, and we're going to go ahead and do them right in between every single one of these good rewards. So I'm going to have some good rewards, and then we're also going to have some bad jelly beans. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Number 11. Wolfgang Puck Dining Credit. So, if there's anything I've learned about my viewers over time, it's that you guys are balanced. You don't like to do the whole fine dining thing all the time, but you also don't like to jump for the bottom of the barrel instead, instead preferring something casual but quality. I feel like Wolfgang Puck covers this pretty consistently, and their $25 dining credit is pretty tenable. It's not a huge discount, but it only sets you back 10,000 loyalty points, and it doesn't cut into your three premium rewards. The food is good quality, the discount makes it a bit more affordable, and you can even charge the balance back to your room if you're at an MGM property, and take advantage of any express comps or dining credits that you may have on your account as well. That's good enough to serve Wolfgang Puck the number 11 spot. So here we go. Starting with sink bug. Three, two, one. Make some noise. Oh. It's gonna be a hard one to finish. Oh. Uh, one more. Come on, come on, come on. In you go, in you go, in you go. Go to the next slide. Number 10. Two for one, nine fine Irishmen. I love NFI. It's a cool Irish pub with a Vegas twist. The food is high quality, but unpretentious, and it's the next step up from home cooking. And the two-for-one entree sure takes a chunk out of the bill. It used to be a $35 credit voucher, but nowadays it just takes care of the cost of an entree. NFI is pretty cheap as is, so this reward is lower on the priority list. But i found that it's one of the more popular rewards, and even more so than Wolfgang Puck, and it's clear why. So, Nine Fine Irishmen bellies up to the number 10 spot at the bar and on our list. Okay, next one. Here we go, canned dog food. I am not looking forward to this one. Three, two, one, make some noise. Actually, 
actually, no, that one wasn't too bad. That's actually, that was actually pretty doable. That last thing, it was like a really bad coffee flavor. This is more like a weird gravy flavor. So, that one wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty doable. Okay, on to the next one. Number nine. A free cocktail at Whiskey Down. There are plenty of solid bars in Vegas. And given MGM Grand's titanic size, it's no surprise that it hosts one of them in Whiskey Down. Now, if you're not a whiskey drinker, insert your own free drink coupon here, because this is nothing but good bourbons and whiskeys. Just my style. The drinks can add up, but the servings are decent, so it's worth using a reward on this if you have literally nothing else to get, and if you enjoy whiskey. It only saves you $14 though, so this is hands down the very worst premium reward you could possibly get at this juncture. But if everything else is covered, then it's a fun one to have. Knocking back number 9 in style. On to the next one, Rotten Egg. Rotten Egg. Alright, let's try this out. Doesn't smell too bad, so here we go. Hmm. It's not too bad either. It tastes weird. I just can't put my. Hmm. It just tastes kind of stale and sugary, but it's not too bad. Tastes kind of like broccoli, really. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Almost got this one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. That was just... It was just a weird flavor. It just wasn't that interesting. Alright. On to the next one. You guys hit the next slide, and I'll try the next flavor. Number 8. My Vegas and My Free Play. This reward is pretty self explanatory. Free money. I think in the past I've had this reward farther up the list, but My Vegas Free Play has changed a little bit. Now the concept is the same it's still the casino giving you slot credit that you can easily turn into actual money by playing down in the machine. You usually get about 50% to 75% of a conversion rate in my experience and more if you're lucky. Sounds like one of the best rewards on the list, right? Well, here's the issue. You can't combine it with comp offers, so if you have a free room through either MyVegas or through any other MLife casino, you can't use these rewards on the same trip. You also typically need either a two or a three night stay for it to count. So to get this free slot play reward, you'll have to pay some money up front. Ultimately, it might not be worth it, and if you can get some better rewards on the list, you'll probably save more money anyway. Still though, it sounds like we've spun up a good number 8 idea for the best rewards in my Vegas. We're up to booger so far. Now people said it tastes kind of earthy, other people say it tastes like jalapenos or something like that. I'm going to see what it actually tastes like. Here we go. Yeah, it just tastes kind of peppery. Not like jalapeno peppers, it tastes a little more like bell pepper. Like raw bell pepper. Or slightly undercooked. Hmm. Not at all. I expected it to be like, you know, when you're sick and your sinuses are draining in the back of your throat and all that. I expected it to be like that, but, you know, it's not like that at all. That's not bad. That's quite good. The whole thing is considered. It's almost a workable jelly bean. Looks like the dead fish has made its way into my uh, my booger beans over here, so. I guess that'll be the next one I try. On to the next slide. Number seven. Madame Tussaud tickets. Now, this reward is gonna be real hard to hunt down. Madame Tussaud is one of the most popular attractions in Vegas, and given the lack of non-gambling entertainment that we're still struggling through, it's no wonder that this reward stays sold out all the time. For a measly 50,000 loyalty points, you get entry to the best wax museum in Vegas and probably one of the best in the country. And unlike your grandma's wax museum, 
there are going to be some folks that you actually want to see. It's a non-premium reward, so despite it being a full comp, it doesn't actually affect your 3 reward per person limit. And the savings are pretty substantial, nearly $40 in savings after tax. Not a bad way to kill an hour or two during a day trip in Vegas. What keeps this low on the list is the low availability and the relatively high number of loyalty points to dollar ratio here. So Madame Tussauds can pose at lucky number 7. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1, let's make some noise. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is bad. Mmm. This has got a rotten, chemically taste to it. Like something really badly preserved. Alright, I'm gonna swallow it. <sighs> Ooh, that was unpleasant. Oh. Number six. All Day Scream Pass, New York, New York. This one's for the thrill seekers, and those of you that forgot that you can enjoy Vegas during the daytime. The All Day Scream Pass is a great one for families because one lucky player can actually ride the Big Apple Coaster at New York, New York at no cost as many times as they want in a single day. A single ride is normally $19, and the pass itself costs $35. But what's also nice is that you get a $2 coupon for your souvenir photo if you choose to use it. The low loyalty point cost is also a boon at only 12,500 LPs. You can earn one of these rewards in less than a day. Just avoid days with high winds, otherwise you won't be able to enjoy it. Rolling the screen pass into the number 6 slot. Mm. Ah, the dead fish taste is still in the mouth. Mm. The water's not helping. Vodka. You know what's bad when you got a rib show? Not that with vodka. Yuck. Okay. Skunk spray. There it is. Really hoping this tastes like licorice. I don't, not that I like licorice, but, you know. Oh, just the smell of it. Three, two, one, make some noise. I can't quite tell what that tastes like. Eh, I don't know. That was a weird one. Uh, does not taste good going down. Ugh. Luck. Ugh. Grody. Like old burnt coffee taste. That's what it was like. Mm, never again. Never again. Okay. All right, guys, just move on to the next slide. I need a minute. Number five, Shark Reef Tickets. Mandalay Bay is one of my favorite properties because it embodies just how grandiose Vegas really is. How many hotels do you know that not only have an aquarium built into them, but at that same aquarium, they feature tiger sharks, stingrays, golden crocodiles, and Komodo dragons? That's pretty amazing and you can experience it all yourself for the low, low cost of 30,000 loyalty points. The aquarium doesn't take too long to traverse, it's only about an hour tour, longer if they have special exhibits. But I've enjoyed it enough to make it a reward of mine in the past. It saves you 30 bucks and gives you something to do during the day in lieu of an early show. So that's always nice. The Shark and Awe shows up at number 5. Alright guys, I'm feeling a little more composed though. I'm feeling a little more composed. Let's try the let's try the dirty dish water here. Alright, here we go. One more time. Whoa. Oh. It smells like soap. It's like Thrill's gum, but bad. Mmm. This is a hard one to chew, but mm. stuck on my teeth. Mm. Mm. It's like a bad vegetable. 
It's like a really bad vegetable. And dish soap. It's so odd. So odd. Wow. Why would you guys nominate me for this, Lucky Dog? Why would you do this to me? It's very cruel of you. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Okay, guys, move on to the next slide. I need another minute. Number four. Siegfried and Roy's Secret Garden. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Siegfried and Roy have both passed away, and that makes me sad. The good news is, they've put together a pretty cool dolphin habitat and a nice place for their former show running big cats to just chill out. The place is open from 10 in the morning till 6 at night, and shows off some of the largest cats in the world, as well as some pretty cool dolphin training routines. The best part is, the tickets allow for re-entry, so you can pop in, watch a dolphin show, then hit the cats, watch the next dolphin show, go to Paradise Cafe, then see a completely different dolphin show. So this can actually be a full day excursion. The fact that it also covers two full entries is spectacular and has become quite rare on the My Vegas app. So the higher price of 90,000 LPs is worth it in the long run, in my opinion. Siegfried, Roy, the Cats, and Dolphins round out the final four on our best rewards list. Okay. On the barf. This isn't gonna go well. Much of a taste on. Okay, you're gonna go first. It's just so closely tied. Your uh, your sense of smell is to taste and all that. And it's just wow, this is horrible. <laughs> this is just horrible. It, it it gets you on the back end. A lot of these here. I think I might be chewing them too fast. But the flavor just kind of hits. All right, two more to go. Number three, my Konami free play. Wait, wait, wait! I know what you're thinking, but Ace, didn't you do this reward already? No, I did the My Vegas MY free play. This is my Konami free play. There's a difference. My Konami free play is more expensive at 75,000 loyalty points for $25 rather than the 50,000 for the same amount. And my Konami free play only comes in the one flavor. So what's the difference? The fact that you can stack this free play by getting one at any of the MGM casinos without the stay requirement. Meaning you can also combine this with a free room reward. So you can grab one of these at Bellagio, MGM, and Aria for a total of $75 in free play between the three properties. And if you have a comp room through the casino via your MLife comps, you can have your cake and eat it too. It also combines well with birthday free play from M Life. The lack of restrictions and the fact that you can use it at multiple properties makes the My Konami free play good enough to earn the bronze medal on our list. Alright, second to last bean here. You guys cannot nominate me for any more of these challenges, I'm sorry. Hmm. We're kind of musky. Sweet and musky. It's like a tutti frutti, actually. But it's like a musky, it's like rotten fruit. It tastes like. It's a bad strawberry. Alright, just, just move on. I got nothing else on this one. Number two My Vegas Food and Beverage Credits. This one is a new reward. The daily food and beverage credit is a common offer that comes in through MLife accounts and it's snaked its way into My Vegas. Especially with the lower end properties, the My Vegas comps on them often aren't worth it for comp rooms. 
No sense in getting a two night comp at Luxor when the room rate is only $10 a night, if you ask me. So I say book your three nights and get $35 in food and beverage credit every night instead. Remember that tip I gave you way back at the start of the list regarding Wolfgang Puck? Well this is where it comes into effect. Once you get to the more expensive properties, it loses a bit of value, but in the low season when you can find Ari and Bellagio rooms for under $70 a night, that $75 food and beverage credit becomes somewhat of a boon, even on a short trip, putting them at number 2. Alright guys, last bean, this is going to be the last one that you watch me suffer through, then you can actually have your proper video. Alright. Mm. I'm just reading that this is from Peanut Free Factory. Off we go. Pray for me. Oh. Oh, that's foul. This may be the end of the challenge, guys. I might not make it. Mm. Oh, I can't shoot this anymore. I gotta swallow it. Deep breath. <clears throat> Ooh. Sweet taste of vodka. Mm. Alright, challenge completed. Um now, who am I going to nominate for this? Actually, you know what? I know exactly who I'm going to nominate for this. And he's going to hate me for it, too. JR from Vegas Tips and Tricks. I got a box for you, my man. This one's going straight into the bin. But I got a box for you over here, brother. So, hit me up. You got me on the Facebook. You got me on the Instagram. You got my links here. But you were challenged. I will send this out to you. Once it makes it to you, you got two weeks to knock this out, big dog. So, best of luck. And to many other spinners and sharks that want to try this. Oh, oh yeah, just, just don't. Oh, God. I can taste all the flavors. Well, let's wash our mouth out here with a couple of honorable mentions. Number 1 My Vegas 2 Comp Nights This is it. Once again, this is probably the best reward you can get in My Vegas right now. If there's one thing you should absolutely get every time, it's a comp room. If you don't have a comp room through M Life or Caesars, then My Vegas has you covered. The two night comps are rare for players who haven't put money into the game, but they do pop up. And they offer substantial savings, especially at properties like Aria or Bellagio, where room rates routinely shoot up past $150 a night. Meaning you can very easily save hundreds of dollars in room rates in a single reward. The only downside to this reward is you have to pay a resort fee. But there are instances where I've actually won enough on my free play or match play to cover the fees and make it a bit of a wash there. So, ultimately, the reason that most of us started playing My Vegas is still the very best reward to get in My Vegas slots. Okay there, Spinners and Sharks, that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed today's list and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Did your favorite reward make our list? Is there one reward you think we missed or underrated? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out and wishing you all strong hands and, of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.